I'm Christian Jacob. Uh, I'm a professor in computer science and in biochemistry and molecular biology, um, trying to bridge between the worlds of science and the world of medicine. So the way this project started was that there was a need expressed by the Faculty of Medicine to create a very innovative teaching tool uh, based on a virtual human, so on a computer model of uh, 3D interactive and make this the focal point of their teaching. The idea I had was a frustration with knowing uh, what the level of technology was uh, out there. We've created with a view to produce an educational item that is actually going to help people learn. So you can zoom in, zoom out, basically fly through that human body and then make it alive. Uh, so add physiology, be able to really explore the different processes and, and, and functions inside the human body. So one of the big challenges in this project was that the tools didn't exist. So we had to build the tools and the frameworks from scratch. And, uh, to, and also uh, for the anatomy, that's something that we got from Zygote Media Group. And uh, that gave us a nice database of 3D anatomy. But now the next challenge is to bring those uh, textbook diagrams and images to life as 3D simulations. So we can explain things like transcription of DNA within a cell using a 3D model. And it's something that we think is really going to appeal to people at that level because you can see inside. You know, it's, that's, that's the mystery, you know, you have a, a sprained wrist or something like that and you think, oh well, there's some swelling, I can see a little lump, maybe I broke something. But with a tool like this, you can say, okay, I can get myself a wrist and I can take the skin away and I can say, hey, this bone and this bone and this bone and there's a, you know, piece of soft tissue here and a blood vessel here and I mean, all right, I can see and I can sort of connect now what's inside, what's going on with me. Classically, these systems are on really big computers because you can imagine that simulating the human body is a very expensive task. So what we are trying to do and have done to, to some extent already is to scale everything down so that it remains interactive. And the consequence for that is that we can now put this on an iPad and now it becomes even touch interactive with a, with a touch interface. Uh, it's very lightweight simulations and everybody can basically take it away in, the, in their hands because it's on a mobile device. But finally, for the first time, we have mobile devices where we can actually put a database of all of human anatomy and be able to render and interact with that uh, in, in your hands. I don't know that it's going to make teaching easier, but we hope it's going to make it better in that it makes it much more personal, it makes it much more active, much more interactive for our students.